Hey YouTube, so we all know what it feels like to have the side effects of smoking. You know, the coughing, the having trouble breathing. And if you're like me, I was a two-pack smoker for 24 years. Um, I just, I love to smoke, but I just couldn't enjoy it the way that I used to because I knew I was killing myself. And I was starting to feel the side effects. I mean, I was getting numbness in my limbs. I was having trouble breathing. I couldn't exercise. So when I saw electronic cigarettes a few years ago, I realized that, oh my gosh, maybe there's an alternative. So, of course, you know, I went out and I bought one of these Cartomizer Sigalikes. And, um, you know, I just didn't get the sensation of smoking. There was leaking tanks. There was all kinds of um, trouble with the batteries dying, having to replace batteries, and so on and so forth. And if you've been around the block, you've known, you know this. And if you're new, and you're just thinking about quitting smoking, stay tuned because you're going to hear a whole lot of hope, and you're going to have a lot of options at your disposal that we never had before. Um, I would say that now is the best time in the history of the electronic cigarette market that affordable, quality, satisfying products are coming on the market every single month and it's really going to change the game. So for me, this time I picked up the Einekin iTaste MVP. Now the thing that I loved about this device was the battery life was amazing. Two days, didn't have to charge it, I could puff on it all day. Um, the tank that came with it, which was the iClear 30, did not like. Uh, dry hits, um, having trouble turning up the, the voltage uh, to get the nice, warm, flavorful hit from the juice that I was using. And, you know, there was problems. So when I saw the Aspire um, Nautilus Mini reviews in July, uh, I said, you know what, I'm going to go out on a limb. I paid $29 and it came in the mail and it was a revelation. These new bottom vertical coils um, really set the bar. Uh, they are the current um, really champion for um, glassomizer or um, coil tanks all in one units um, for flavor. Uh, voltage flexibility. Uh, they come in uh, 1.6 ohm and 1.8 ohm, so there's some uh, adjustability there. And they're really just versatile. They're, they last longer. I've been having mine last more than two weeks, and uh, it's been really, really satisfying. The things that I didn't like about the um, MVP was the size. Uh, you know, I could be pulled over in my car because a cop thinks that I'm on my cell phone, or it looks like a bomb trigger, you know, um, it's just definitely not the most aesthetically pleasing device. Now, durability-wise, it's tough, it's strong. Um, you know, this device, as I see here, um, the voltage can be adjusted from 3.3 volts to 5 uh, volts in 0.1 increments. It has variable wattage, uh, so the wattage can go all the way up to 11 watts. Um, it does have an ohm meter. It has a puff counter, which who really cares? I know I vape a lot, so you know it just lets me know that. But my pocketbook also knows that because of the cost, of the amount that I spend on juice regularly. Um, it also has um, a 510 connector, which we'll talk about in a little bit. You know this 510 connector that's on here. Um, it kind of sticks up, and you need to have this little ring, this beauty ring, uh, that's connected to it. So that this, it would be nice if this sits flush. So here I was, an unsatisfied two-pack-a-day smoker. I wanted relief, so I bought this kit. And this was around $60 um, for this device. And this tank was around $29.99. Um, and then I ended up upgrading the tank to a, a metallic one uh, just because of fear of breaking it. Um, so once I got it, I was just absolutely, completely thrilled. Um, 
the vapor production, the flavor, the battery life, I mean the list goes on and on and on. But as many of us know, this is, for some reason, I don't know if it's my addictive personality or it's the joy of and the camaraderie of fellow ex-smokers that it's like learning a new hobby. And I'm always looking on the forums to try to figure out what the new devices are. The truth is, I want the best experience, but I also want value. So I've been on a quest, and I am pleased to say that as much as this was the great starter kit for most vapors. Now, I gotta tell you, if you are a rebuilder and you like to wrap your own coils and if you like to sub ohm and if you like to drip, you know, I have a full time job, I'm married, um, I have a career, I have a ton of responsibilities. So I don't want to have like a mad scientist lab in my house and and have enough power to run my whole street and risk blowing myself up. Um, I want portability, parts that are compatible that I don't have to, you know, take a lessons to figure out how to do it. I want safety, I want battery life, and I want flavor, and I want throat hit. So, for me, even though I've tried dripping, and you know, there's an amazing 100 watt devices, uh, 150 watt devices now. Um, I don't need to jumpstart my car. I just want to have a replacement experience from smoking that is more healthy, more satisfying, more flavorful, uh, without all the extra, you know, I don't want to have lightsabers in my face trying to get the biggest, uh, you know, cloud chasing event. I don't care. You know, I'm embarrassed to blow big clouds out of my car when I'm driving down the street. It's not about that. If the cloud was, if there was no cloud, then it would be just the same as long as the feeling and the experience was the same. But as uh, an addicted smoker, you know, the, the feel, the touch, the, the experience is all part of it. And that's why this whole entire electronic uh, cigarette, which I don't like that term, or, or uh, vaping, um, is really such a revelation. It, it's, it's a turning point in the war against tobacco and I think that when people give it a try they're going to realize how amazing it is. Um, so I saw this device and I ordered it and there, there's not a lot of reviews and let me tell you, you are in for a treat because this is something special. So here we go, the grand unveiling. This is the Anakin Eye Taste and this is the Aspire Nautilus. And actually, you know, tonight we're going to do two reviews because I also have a new glassomizer. And I thought that this, which is still amazing, this uh, Nautilus Mini from Aspire was an amazing glassomizer. Um, there is an alternative that is less expensive and it is sleek and it hits like a freaking freight train. So, let me introduce you to a product from a company called iSmoka. This is the E-Leaf iStick. So let's take a look at it. Let's open it up and uh, let's see what it's all about. Let's look at some stats. Uh, we're gonna do some hits and um, I hope that you, know, you get some enjoyment out of this and uh, you figure out um, if this is a product that's right for you. I would be willing to say, and I'm going to go out on a limb here, that this, what I'm about to show you, is the best option for anybody that vapes that is at the $50 mark for the total package, without juice, obviously. Um, so here we go. Now, I want to say that all these devices that I'm going to show you and all these products, uh, I'm in no way hired by any of these manufacturers. Um, I haven't been paid by them. I have not been provided products by them. This is a completely 100% um, my opinion. No one else's flavor is subjective, vapor production, uh, throat head, all this stuff is just my 
my experience and my review and um, take it for what you will. I mean, you don't have to um, decide uh, by what I say. Try it yourself or don't try it. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm just here to offer my perspective. But look at this device. This is absolutely amazing. Tiny. Now, tiny in the past wasn't really everything because tiny meant low power. Tiny meant um, not being able to have that satisfying drag, that throat hit. This device has a threadable adapter that you can use for your um, different products that uh, utilize this head. Um, but let me show you. And I'll explain all the details. Uh, please, uh, you know, I don't have a lot of time to edit and I don't have a lot of high-end equipment, so if the audio doesn't sound good, if the lighting's not right, I'll try to make it better in the future. Um, but I'm doing the best I can. Um, I just wanted to, since there were no reviews that I saw, there was only a few previews, uh, I just wanted to give my experience uh, as a fellow um, vapor uh, with this product and, um, and let you see it and let you see how it works. So the first thing that blows my mind about this device is the size. So let's compare these two devices. So here we have, and let me just take this off. So here we have both devices next to each other. So as you can see, the one difference is width-wise, this is much more slim, the profile. Now, thickness, they're almost identical. I would say this is a little bit thinner or maybe the same, but very, very similar. Um, but height, I mean, it, there's no comparison between these two devices. This device, when I hold it in my hand, and there's the bottom. This device, when I hold it in my hand, it's invisible. So for me, that makes a huge difference. Um, the next thing is the weight. Um, this one is ex significantly heavier than this device. Now, they both feel tough. They both feel like they're built well. They both feel solid. Um, but this device is definitely more pleasing. And also this rounded edge. I don't know if you can see this here. But this rounded edge that you have here is extremely comfortable. The way that the button position is, which is right here, incredible. So when you hold it, you can have your finger up here, you can have your finger here, but it's so easy to push this button. Whereas on the MVP, you also have this button, which is right in the middle. And it was always a chore because it's, everything's squared. So when you try to push the button, it was tough to do. Now, I'm not taking anything away from this. This was the reigning champ for a long time. But trust me, the times have changed. This is the future. And this is going to be an amazing, amazing product and an amazing seller. Do yourself a favor. Don't even finish this video. Run out and get it. Um, I'm going to leave some links in the video. I'm going to leave some uh, links on the other products that I'm uh, going to review in the video. Um, but it's amazing. So I have another one I already ordered. Um, I'm going to have one at home, one in the car. Um, it's amazing. So let's go over the statistics. The battery on this is a 2200 mAh, which is milliamp hours. And the that's incredible. I mean, now, it's not this. I believe that this one was 2600, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 2600. So... Um, but still, 2200 for this little tiny device is absolutely amazing. You might get like, what, six hours less, um, but it's still going to be a tremendous battery life. To charge this device, it uses the same charger as the MVP, which is your standard little, I think it's micro USB, don't quote me, but I think it's micro. Um, and that plugs in to the bottom, which, you know, personally, if I had my choice about it, let's see, um, I would prefer, there we go, um, I would prefer the charge to be on the front so that I can sit it upward when it's charging. Um, you know, a lot of times with these tanks, when you have the coil that absorbs the uh, juice, um, you want to sort of leave it overnight sort of soaking and saturating the coil. Um, in this case, 
you know, when you have it connected and you lay it down, it doesn't work as well. So take it for what it is. Um, it connects to the bottom. Now, a good thing about that is that when you're sitting downstairs and the battery's low, which it probably won't be, um, you know, you can sort of leave it plugged in and you can take puffs because it does have a pass through just like the MVP, um, which means that you can puff while you charge. So that's a pretty cool feature. And the connections feel tight. Um, the other feature that this has is um, the voltage adjustment and the wattage adjustment. And I'm sorry about looking at in different directions. I'm trying to look at the camera, but this is awkward for me. I'm not like a, a video producer that does this all the time. But So let's take a peek real quick at what features this device, the iStick, has. Um, the first thing that it has is it has 20 watts of output. And it's a variable voltage and a variable wattage. It goes up to 5.5 volts and it goes up to 20 watts. Now your 20 watts is going to be dependent since it's variable on what atomizer um, uh, resistance you have in your coil. So if you have a 1.6 uh, ohm uh, atomizer or a 1.8 ohm or a 2 ohm, it's going to actually limit the wattage output. Um, but that's fine, trust me. Once you get up to like 13 to 15 watts, um, for me at least, and this is, you know, taste and experience is definitely uh, uh, an individual thing. Um, but for me, um, I find that like 14 to 15 watts is perfect. It's absolutely stunning. Um, now, the MVP on the other hand, when you would hit that, you would get a popping or a spitting. Uh, because I believe that the coil just didn't get enough power to heat the juice enough to vaporize it to the point that it was actually like a mist. And this device totally does that in every possible way. Now, it also has, besides the variability, um, the wattage is in a high stability. So, um, basically when it loses power, it's not going to lose its output. So, you're going to have a stable consistent uh, vape experience throughout the whole entire battery life range uh, for the device. Um, it also has uh, a couple other things, let's see. It has an OLED screen on it, and I'm going to show you that when I go over it. Um, and it also lets you go up and down in increments um, and switch between wattage and voltage adjustment on the fly, just like the MVP does. Um, now, what's really cool is this thread adapter, which I think is an Ego adapter if I'm not mistaken, but this adapter can come off. Whoops. So if you wanted to take your Nautilus Mini, which is what this is with the bottom vertical coil, and you wanted to connect it directly in, no beauty ring. Flush, smooth, perfect. So there's no, I mean, maybe it's, it's actually flush with the button that's on the side here. So it's perfect. So you can see that here. Um, now, this is amazing um, on this device. But, let's put this back on here. But Aspire has come up with an alternative to the Nautilus Mini, and that is a glassomizer that is called the K1. Welcome to the K1. This little beauty is a stainless steel drip tip that is completely removable, let's see, uh, from Aspire, and it snaps in just like the uh, Nautilus Mini. This is a 1.5 milliliter tank, so it's a little bit smaller than your um, than your Nautilus tank, but it's still, you know, it's great size-wise. The only problem is, is that the higher the wattage you go, the better flavor you get, and the more you go through, you know, juice. Um, it does drain rather quickly. The other thing that, and I'm just going over the negatives first because there's a lot of positives. Um, the thing that 
I did not like it first. I'm a lung hitter, uh, so I drag directly into my lungs. And I love the adjustable airflow uh, on the uh, Nautilus Mini, where you can switch between fully open, somewhat, I think there's four positions. So depending on your draw preference, you have that. This, on the other hand, if you take a look here at the bottom, opening, opening. When I purchased this, it did not have the, um, it didn't have holes that were this large. So the pull on it was not as sufficient for me. So what I did was I just took a little drill bit, I took my drill and I just drilled it out a little bit more open on both sides. And it's, it was perfect. It took me two seconds to do and the results um, speak for themselves. So with this device, it's cool because once you put this on here, this actually slides right on. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, why, would, why would you go from this beautiful bottom vertical coil uh, Nautilus mini tank and why would you sacrifice and go with this? Well, the good news is this also has a bottom vertical coil. So you're going to get the same flavor, you're going to get the same vapor production, you're going to get no dry hits, it's going to wick great. Um, it's actually even better. I think the flavor is more um, focused because it's a smaller air channel. Um, it really, it hits unbelievable. The other thing is, is that, oh, um, before I forget, this device, the iStick from uh, iSmoka, um, there's three different packages, so you want to be careful when you purchase it because one package comes with just this device, one package comes with the device and the adapter, and I think it's like $2 more, and then there's a third package that comes with a charger, the device, and the adapter. So make sure you you get which package you need. It depends on whatever um, glass miser you're going to use with it. Uh, I would just get the kit with the uh, attachment uh, for using any type of uh, glass miser. You can even get a dripper if you wanted for this. But um, I purchased this from the iSmoke website. They were in stock uh, two days ago, and it took two days to ship to me. Um, and they had silver and black available. Now, this device comes in blue, some sort of fuchsia or pinkish, purple. Um, it also comes in black and silver. So I got the silver. I think it's a sleek look. It matches up well with this tank. Um, I paid $49 for this device. These, $10. So I've seen this for $35 from other websites, as long as you want to wait because they're back ordered right now. But think about it. $36, $10. $46, $39. For a 20 watt, 2200 milliamp hour adjustable variable voltage and wattage with pass through, with bottom vertical coil vapor production for under $50. It does not get any better than this. There will be something better because that's progress, but for right now, trust me, it's absolutely stunning. So let me. Um, let me just compare real quick. I'm going to take this off here. And then I'm going to get this MVP out of the way. Um, now, I, I bought three of these K1s, and I drilled all three of them out. Um, the reason that I did that was when... You like different juices depending on the time of day. Like in the morning, I might like to have like a Nico Ticket Wakanda, which is like a coffee and tobacco and vanilla. Um, Mid-afternoon, I might to ha like to have like a cereal flavor or um, a nice rich pastry. Or um, in the evening, I might like to have a chocolate or a, uh, a strawberry vanilla or something. You know, I don't like to have to clean out my atomizers all the time. So it's nice to have these tanks in at $10 a piece. How can you not? Now, look at the difference between these two. They're both great, by the way. So if you just want to get the K1, get that by itself and use this MVP, it's still a great device. But when you look at $60 versus $36, there's a huge difference, uh, in my opinion, in, in how they perform. So let me, um, I'm going to take a hit on this. Now, what I'm going to do both of these are filled with um, Suicide Bunny's Mother's Milk, and if you haven't had this before, 
It's one of my favorite all-day vapes. Um, it's basically uh, like a sort of like a cu uh, vanilla custard with um, uh, a light strawberry note, and it's absolutely delicious. It's great vapor production. It's an incredible, incredible uh, liquid. All the liquids are actually really good from Suicide Bunny, but uh, that's what I'm going to be using. Uh, it's been sitting in here for a while, so uh, the coil's saturated. Now, you can also buy replacement coils for the new Aspire uh, K1. And the interesting thing about these replacement coils is they come in 1.6 ohm and 1.8 ohm, just like the Nautilus ones, but they're not the same size as the Nautilus. They actually are the same size as the older bottom dual coil ones that were in all the other Aspire tanks before the Nautilus. So if you have one of those old tanks, you can buy these and they will work with those old tanks. So if you want the vapor production and you want the smoothness without the dry hits, pick up some of these coils um, and they are replaceable. So now, I know I'm going over a lot because I got a lot of new stuff and I'm excited about these products. Um, it's really tremendous, but the package for the K1 comes like this. So I have one here that I'm going to open for you. And, you know, you're not going to get that top of the line build that you get in the Nautilus Mini. Um, there's a couple sacrifices, you know, just to keep the price down. But it's a great entry level product or it's a great small product for on the road. But when I'm at home, I'm going to use my Nautilus Big Tank with the bottom vertical coil in it. Uh, fill it with juice, vape all day, not have to refill. But, you know, the next best, you have your Nautilus Mini. You also have your K1. So having a variety for different situations is not a bad idea. Um, I like all of them for different reasons. And I think that, you know, pick one that works for you, for your life, for your, uh, you know, how often you're out of the house and where you're going to go. Because you don't want to run out of your products, your battery, or your juice when you're not at home, especially if you're fresh off the, the analog smokes, because, you know, you might go back and pick up a pack. So I would recommend planning ahead, having enough gear, um, and, uh, and storing some stuff. So, um, so the way that this tank works is <clears throat> the drip tip, like I showed you before, disconnects, okay? So you have your disconnectable drip tip. Now, you want to fill this tank from the bottom. So what you do is you unscrew the bottom. And it's threaded here. Now, unlike the Nautilus Mini, that's threaded actually on the actual um, atomizer which holds it to the tank. This, this is different. This actually has a little rubber ring, which be careful, you don't want to lose it right here. But it actually screws to the tank and, and connects. Now, I haven't had any leakage at all, um, but this is where you want to fill from, at the bottom. So, there's your coil. Now, the coil unscrews, and here it is. bottom vertical coil. Screws back in. Fill your juice from the side right up into the point where you can see the air hole here just like the other tanks. Once it's full, put the top back on, screw it back on until it's snug, not too tight but snug, and then put your drip tip back on. Once that's done, reconnect it to your device and you're good to go. So it's a really simple. Now, the, the only thing that it doesn't do is the top doesn't unscrew. I don't think it does. I tried. It looks like it's connected permanently, so you're not going to have accessibility from the top. I think it's a fair trade-off. So let me take a sip of this water. And let's bait. So as I said, I got the Suicide Bunny. This is already saturated. Um, I've been vaping on this all day today, and the battery life says um, it's got more than half left still. So the battery's really good. Um, it feels so good in your hand. The button pr press feels good. The, um, the metal on the top and the bottom, the screws, it's just a tight, compact unit. And look at this screen. 
I mean, it is just clear battery indicator. You have your volts. You have your um, the ohm reading. You have your wattage. Now, check this out. So, here we are. If you hold it, it'll keep going. I'm sorry, I'm upside down. All the way down, all the way down. Okay, so here we are at 4.7 watts. Now it's reading 1.9 ohms on my coil. I have 1.8 ohms in there, so that's close. Now let's go back up. Now if you hold it and let go, it'll keep going for you until you hit it again. Whoop. You hit down. So back up. It'll keep going. Stop. You can go in single increments too if you want. So I'm going to take this bad boy all the way up. For the 1.0 ohm coil, you have 15.9 watts, which is what I'm going to hit this at. And let's see if there's any uh, problem. So here we go. <clears throat> no burnt taste. Flavor is ridiculous. Um, this thing produces so much more vapor so quickly, and it doesn't spit. It's smooth. It's delicious. Now, I probably wouldn't vape at 15.9 watts with this liquid. I'd probably bring it down to about 14 and a half or 14 flat. And that's perfect for me. Um, let's let's do that. This is 14 now. So vapor production, tremendous. Flavor, amazing. Um, it, it really is just incredible for the size. I mean, <laughs> you know, you can be in your car or at work, in your pocket. To turn this off, you, you do the uh, same thing that most devices, five times. And now it's off. So it's not going to hit. And then five times. That's back on. So the other thing you can do is if you want to switch to volts instead of watts, you hit it three times. And now you're in volt adjustment. So 5.1 volts. Three back. And now I'm at 14 watts. So let's take another puff. Just absolutely phenomenal. It really, and it feels so good uh, in your hand. Um, drip tip feels just like the Nautilus Mini. Now for me, I like the increased airflow. You might be totally satisfied with this K1 tank with the airflow as it's set. So it really is up to you. Um, find what you're comfortable with and uh, adjust the, you know, I noticed that today when I was using another juice, um, I was playing with the wattage just to find that perfect taste. Because you'll find that balance between vapor production and flavor and, um, and pick what's right for you. So. So there you go, under $50, 20 watts, awesome taste, beautiful, beautiful tank with replaceable coils. Um, it's just a phenomenal value and I really recommend uh, anybody that's interested in getting the best quality product for the money, look into this, try it. You will not regret it, I promise you that. So if you like my video, subscribe. Uh, I plan on doing a lot more product reviews, uh, maybe some juice reviews, maybe some other things. Uh, I love sports cars, uh, video games. Um, so who knows what you'll see. But uh, honest reviews, straight from me to you, 
And uh, best of luck to you. Happy vaping. And I will see you soon.